Like a turn back block and a squeeze clamp for you making a hat. You need this block to turn the hat around and finish the top of it. It's MDF 8 inches, 9 inches in diameter. It sits on a 10 inch face plate plywood because you need that strength. Uh, I've got 4 inch holes drilled down through the center of it. Look at this bearing down in here. You'll need this bearing for the light kit. Kind of grubby, isn't it? But this is for the light. Here I've shaped it. The lines you see are super glue because I glue foam which is a foam mouse pad around the outside of this to pad it for the hat. And I'll show you that in a moment. Now here's the light kit. It's a ceramic fixture and a 60 watt light bulb. I've got a washer and a gasket there so it won't slide off and the gasket fits inside that bearing I showed you a few minutes ago. Then I go through. It's a regular lamp cord coming through this. And take a look at what's on the lamp cord now. Uh, we've got a bearing which fits up to my flywheel, a spring and a washer and a snap-on snap-off plug because you have to snap off the plug to put this in place and get it out of your lathe. Here I've got the plug off, I'm shoving the wire through the headstock. This is once I've got it mounted, that's why it's got to be snap-on snap-off. Push it through, get the light to go into the head block. That's where you're going to see it in a few moments. See, slide it right in, but it's got to rotate, right? On the other end, I'm now going to take my my bearing, put it on. Mine matched up to my headstock perfectly. The washer, the spring, the whole works. Slide it up against the back of your headstock. Some lathes are made to do this. Some you need to build a little adapter. It's all turning. And now I have to hold it in place. Hey, get this. I'm going to resort to the ultimate tool. To hold it in place, I'm going to use a pair of vice grips. That's right, snap it on. They weigh enough now to give me a good counterbalance. Watch what happens when I put it on the power. You see this? The counterbalance keeps it from spinning. You don't have to anchor it any better than that. This allows me to plug in the light and have it shine through the headstock on the power. I slip my wet hat. When the hat's wet, I can see right through there. Now, it's a dry hat, you won't see this now, but if you watch closely, you see the light go on and go off, and that's what you need. You'll thin your hat based upon what you see in that light. Now, you've thinned the hat, and you've got to make it look like a hat instead of a donut. This is the clamp. I've got all the details on the website, all the measurements. You, you make this up out of a piece of 2 by Mine's seen the weather hat in it. I've got maple verticals, but it can be poplar or anything else because they just create a clamp. It goes up to some squeeze pads. These pads go on each side of the hat. And you'll see more in the details when I show you some being squeezed. And then you pad it on the inside. That's it. Need more details? Go to the website. I'm Captain Eddie Castle and Megan Shavens.